Good morning, everyone. This is our last and final day here, and we're going to have breakfast at Roscoe's. Here's the menu. It's pretty extensive, and you can get different combinations of the waffles and the chicken and other things for breakfast. And if you don't know, there's the Obama special. That's what I'm eyeing out. And this is the place where Snoop Dogg likes to eat. But I believe he goes to the other location. Bubba's got his apple juice. And I have my black coffee. And here's the Obama special. It's three fried chicken wings, full wings with the drumettes and the actual wing, and some big waffles. And if you could only smell this, it smells so sweet and delicious. These waffles are amazing, and the syrup actually tastes like real maple syrup. And the chicken is moist, and the bread is crunchy and delicious. And don't forget to use their house-made hot sauce. It's amazing. Okay, after that wonderful breakfast at Roscoe's, we're here at Knott's Berry Farm for our last day here in California. And I've never been here before, so I'm looking forward to tasting the food and also riding all the rides. When you first enter and exit the parking lot and you're going towards the gates, you pass by a bunch of stores, there's a bakery with baked goods, a restaurant that serves their famous fried chicken, and also other stores like gift shops where you can buy gifts for people and candy and other food products. And just like Disney, they've got the Halloween decorations up. Berry Farm. It's a first for me. Never been here before. Last time I came here as a child, we went to Universal Studios instead. But looking at the map, we don't have much time and that's way out of the way. And this is closer to Disneyland, only 15 minutes away. So we decided to come here and check out the rides. Also, there is a section, the Snoopy Camp for little kids that don't like scary rides. So it's kind of perfect for us. And of course they have their boysenberry stuff. So that way we can taste some of their pies and whatever else they have to offer with the berries. Let's go get the fries on. Yeah, let's look at this. Do you wanna say hi to her? Since you like creepy stuff. <laughs> Hello. You look like you'd be good at you're good at rattling trains, aren't you? And this is too lightly. <laughs> I know it's a beginner's chain. <laughs> I had to bring a beginner's chain in case we had babies. All right. You could have had you're to be heavy one from the deck. <laughs> give it a practice, John. Give it a little give me a little rattle. <laughs> you see, he's good. Can you give me a little ghostly? <laughs> okay. Now are you have you been practicing? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's too exciting. That was. Woo. <laughs> that's a little zombie, but not bad. Not bad. All right. <laughs> you make sure she practices. So all, all right. right, she's off to a good start. But she needs <laughs> have a good day. <laughs> As you can see, it has a western feel to it. The old ghost town type of buildings, or mining buildings back in the 1800s. Pretty cool setup. And I like how it's not as crowded. We asked for fast lane passes, but they said they weren't selling them today because the ride wait shouldn't be long, which I appreciate that they're not ripping you off. And I say this because at Dollywood we bought fast passes and there wasn't a, even a wait. So they still sold them, not saying they ripped us off or anything, but they sold them every day even when it wasn't busy. And um, they should have kind of known it wasn't a popular day and maybe they shouldn't have sold it to us. But here 
they straight out tell you that they're not going to sell it to anyone because it shouldn't be too crowded. Both have hats on. Do you want to hold on to your hat for the photo? Can you pop your foot out like Whittle? Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> awesome! Yay! I got some boysenberry sarsaparilla. Let's see what it tastes like. It's like a boysenberry soda. Mmm. Yummy. Very berry. Like. I don't know how to describe it. It's just a mix between a blackberry and a raspberry, perhaps? Very berry flavored. Not sour or tart. Definitely recommend it if you like very like things and a different kind of soda. It's very sweet and delicious. Off to the next ride.
here's the Calico Saloon, if you want to have drinks. And children are welcome in there if they're going to eat as well. <coughs> Some ice cream, coffee, churros, ghost town candy store. Fudge. And there's a lot of restrooms everywhere here. It's more accessible than Disneyland, I think. So you don't have to worry about find, finding a place to use the restroom. And there's lots of places to sit down to rest or eat. And if you're not into rides, there's lots of stores like this. Here's a glass blower store. Earlier we passed a blacksmith. There's novelty gifts. And other places to look and browse and shop. And right now they're giving out free candy for kids at this little trick-or-treat booth. We're going on our last ride here. And um, we figure we do it last since we're probably going to get wet. All right, this guy wants me to go on this rapids ride, which I hate these rides because you get totally wet. But it is the last ride of the day and our last day here. So I guess I'll get my underoos wet for him because everybody else that got off is soaking wet. So let's go. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoa. Ah! Oh my god, I'm wet. <laughs> We're gonna have lunch here at the boardwalk barbecue. This is the barbecue platter, so I got the boysenberry wings. You can get rotisserie chicken, pulled pork, or other things. You can also get more boysenberry barbecue sauce. I've eaten three already, and these are actually really good. The sauce is delicious. We even got the kids' meal with mac and cheese and the boysenberry wings as well. All right, let's try this cornbread. It comes with each meal. Mm. Very buttery and sweet. I like that kind of cornbread. It's a little bit cold though, but it's delicious. It's nothing butter can fix. Alright, we're gonna try the boysenberry wheat ale. This is exclusive to Knott's Berry Farm. It's one of their beers. That's not bad, but at the end it tastes like Robitussin, so if you like cough medicine, it's your jam, but it's not my jam. Ugh. So you can pick any side. I wanted coleslaw, but they didn't have any today, so I got some steak fries. Typically, typical steak fries. Tastes good though. It's crunchy. It has that nice batter on the outside. So that uh, barbecue place was very delicious. Um, it is amusement park fast food, but for that, it was pretty good. It wasn't the best barbecue I've ever had, but pretty tasty. Just stay away from that boysenberry uh, weed ale. That was not my thing. Maybe it is for you, but it literally tastes like cough syrup. That was terrible. But anywho, we're gonna end the day here because we've got to drive all the way back to Los Angeles to our hotel that's closer to the airport since we have a very early flight. All right, so that's pretty much our day at Knott's Berry Farm. First time for me, never been there before, but my closing thoughts on that was compared to Disneyland, I enjoyed it much more. I think as an adult, there's much more thrill rides, a little bit more extreme. And um, for the kids, it's great too. If you have little ones, they have the Camp Snoopy area, which has the uh, rides that are very um, mild for the little ones that aren't too scary. So you can take your little ones, toddlers and stuff. 
but they also have medium range rides like for my son somebody that's maybe eight to ten years old maybe 12 that want a little bit of thrill but it's not babyish so it's kind of in the middle so there are a couple of roller coasters that don't have too sharp of a drop but um, have some turns and stuff to give them a thrill without scaring them um, I think my son went on the Jaguar coaster probably like six plus times he enjoyed it very much and the food options are everywhere lots of different kinds of food um, the quality was pretty good for amusement park fair lots of bathrooms everywhere and lots of places to sit and eat or just relax compared to Disney where it's so crowded even people are sitting on the curbs and there isn't even a place to sit on the curb people start ending up sitting on the floor because there's nowhere to sit and your feet hurt so enjoyed this experience much more the wait times are very short most rides today were five minutes or less of a wait I think the most popular ride we did was probably a 15 minute wait if anything but you can keep going on and on over and over if you enjoy the ride without much of a wait so a great experience here lots of parking uh, we got to park close to the entrance it's not too far of a walk and lots of different shops to look at as well so if you've never been here definitely give it a try i enjoyed it and it's much less expensive than disneyland all right so we're going to drive all the way back to los angeles to our other hotel since we have an early flight tomorrow morning and it's closer to the airport and we're going to end the day with some in and out we always have to have in and out when we come to cali so we'll see you then we finally made it to Los Angeles. Okay, we're in our IGH hotel. As you can tell, I surely favor them, but I am a member. Uh, I like their hotels. They're clean most of the time, ever since we went from Montana to Tennessee to here. Keurig, a fridge, ice, microwave, simple bathroom. It smells very clean in here. And like the last time, they always use Dove products, which is nice. Extra towels, more Dove products, simple bathtub. And over here is the king size bed with Mimi. A place to sit like all the other ones. And a nice TV, a desk area, drawers, and a closet with a safe down there, and the ironing board and hangers. Good enough for one night until we leave t early tomorrow morning for our trip. And another perk, if you do want to uh, stay here before going home, because Anaheim's a far drive and you have an early flight back home to Hawaii, Definitely check this hotel out. Again, I do a lot of research when I travel. This is the only hotel I could find in the airport area or Los Angeles area that doesn't charge for parking. So it's free parking like any other uh, place in the nation that's not a big city where you can pull into a lot and just pick your spot and you're good to go. And it's also one of the only IGH ones in the Los Angel Angeles greater area that doesn't charge either because there is another IGH airport hotel near LA and um, they do charge I think $30 a night for parking so this one doesn't charge and it's close to a 7-eleven and a couple gas stations and the in and out so you have a place to eat and get snacks and fill up your gas and actually to return your rental car it's right down the road literally right down the road all of them budget Alamo Enterprise uh, Avis, they're all down that airport boulevard strip. So we're gonna get up and return our car within five minutes from here and just go on their shuttle straight to the airport. Okay, this is our last stop for food tonight at the In N Out. And look at this line. As usual, it is past about 7:30, and the line is long for the drive-through. But this is the closest one to the airport, so it's always busy. And um, we're just gonna get some burgers and fries for dinner. All right, so we're back here at the hotel and I got a double-double. That's what I usually get from In-N-Out. Delicious burger if you have never been there before. Wish we had one in Hawaii. 
I like it with everything on it. And I got it with cheese. I like the onion in there with the lettuce and the sauce. Toasted bun. Fresh patty. You either love In-N-Out or you hate it, but I love it. Don't really care for the fries, but they're freshly made, but not as crispy as I like them. I know you can ask them to do them well done, but it takes so long in the drive through so I just took them as they are. Definitely a del delicious way to end the day and the trip. Hopefully some of the tips and mistakes we did will help you if you're planning a trip to Disneyland or Knott's Berry Farm or California Adventure Park. Tips on where, where to go, how to get in faster and all that. And also tips on, you know, the pros and cons of each park, such as restrooms, food, and all the lines and walking. So um, thank you for watching. If this was helpful to you, press the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again on another regular foodie adventure in Hawaii. And uh, take care of yourselves. Peace out. And I'll see you again. We're going to wake up early and get on that flight and go home. Take care.